Today we're going to talk about the different procedures and the different techniques that we have to try and sculpt the buttock. There's many different ways that we can do this. Perhaps the most famous and the most popular is what you've heard of as the Brazilian buttock lift. That's essentially taking fat from different parts of the body, preparing it, and then transferring the fat to the buttock area, mainly to make it bigger. I ended up perfecting that and essentially not making it just about making the buttock bigger, but about making a better contour, a better shape, so it was more about sculpting the buttock than it was about augmenting the buttock. But not everybody is a sole um, candidate for the Brazilian buttock lift because sometimes the buttock will have other issues going on that need to be addressed. One of these areas that we're gonna talk about today, uh, and it's an area that not many plastic surgeons really pay attention to, but when you do, it makes a tremendous difference in the overall aesthetics of the buttock. The area that I'm talking about is what is known as the inner gluteal fold. That's the zone that's in between the gluteal areas that has a little bit of fullness to it. Essentially, if you look at these patients that are coming up on the screen, the first patient has what we call the ideal buttock. There's not a lot of fullness in that area. It's very mild, very minimal. She has a 45 degree takeoff zone, meaning that the buttock and the legs unite in a very nice, sharp angle. And there really hardly is any fat in that area. But as fat starts to build up in that inner gluteal section, as you can see in the pictures, you start to change the angle from a 45 degree takeoff to more of a horizontal 90 degree angle. And the aesthetics start to decrease and it does not become as attractive. But even in other cases, uh, the fullness increases even further. So now instead of it being from a up to down angle, it's from a down to up angle. It inversely slopes completely, completely ruining the aesthetics of the buttock. And that's what we call the dirty diaper look. Now, depending on how dirty the diaper is or how full the diaper is, it will give you a different look altogether. But not all is lost because there's ways to change this diaper. Essentially, there's a procedure called the Miami Thong Lift, whereby making incisions inside of San Andres Fault, meaning right down the center of the crack, even though there's a whole lot of shaking going on, you really can't see that scar. The scar remains completely hidden. How long that scar is going to be will depend on the severity of the fullness that exists in that inner gluteal fold. But the Miami thumb lift has degrees to it, so that the first and simplest degree is by putting a tiny little incision where the thong goes and liposuctioning the fullness that exists. That's usually for the patients that have a 90 degree angle. But if you've got more of an angle than 90 degrees, then we need to start making longer and longer incisions. What if there's also some accompanying droopiness to the buttock that extends? Well, then we could add other accessory procedures to the Miami thong. It's still the Miami thong, but I add other things to it. So for example, one of the things that I add is fat grafting, because fat grafting is inflating the volume of the buttock and changing the shape, much like inflating a balloon. If you were to blow up a balloon, that balloon starts to expand and expands upward, so it fills it up and it gives it more volume. So aside from just doing the scar, I will also add fat to the zone. The third thing that I'll do if the condition is a little bit more extensive is to add sutures so I create what is known as a suture suspension. I'll put in four or five different sutures. These sutures are special made sutures that have cones on them. And I'll lay these sutures in different places inside of the buttock to try to lift that buttock up, much like you would use suspenders to lift pants. So we've talked about really the inner part of the buttock, but we really haven't discussed anything about the outer part. What happens when the buttock starts to droop on the outer or lateral portion of it? 